Have you ever wondered, why do I do what I do? I remember the first time I did something and wondered for years afterwards, why did I do that? Go back in time with me to 1968. After 13 years of trying to start a family, my amazing parents were finally able to adopt me as an infant. For four and a half glorious years, life was perfect. And then suddenly, without any warning, my angel mother became one herself after an undiagnosed brain tumor took her from us. My poor dad, he was understandably undone. Fast forward with me 20 months, and now I'm an adorable six and a half year old. And my dad has just remarried. I so want her to like me. One day, shortly after they were married, she took me to her hairdresser one Saturday afternoon. As I sat in the chair, my stepmom stood in front of me and asked, what if we cut off all of your long blonde hair and you get a nice short haircut like mine? Oh boy, decision time. It took me just a few seconds to make what would become an absolutely pivotal decision-making moment in my life. I so wanted her to like me. I look up at my stepmom, I look at the hairdresser and I say, do it, cut it off. But then, ha, ah, oh boy. As I look at my long blonde hair on the floor, I slowly look up in the mirror in horror. Oh no, who is that? That's not me. What have I done? Why do we do what we do? And are there patterns that might repeat themselves? I'm not a scientist, I've never even played one on TV. But science has helped us to take a look at some of these patterns. And it has helped us to gain key awareness around why we do what we do. As I grew older, I started to realize something crucial. The decision to cut my hair wasn't just about pleasing my stepmom. It was a reflection of a deeper pattern. The innate desire to connect, to be accepted, to belong. This is a fundamental human need for each of us. We all seek connection, sometimes in ways that we don't even recognize. Think about it. How many times have you made a choice because you thought it was what someone else wanted? How often have you silenced your voice to fit in? And how did that make you feel? Are you ready to unmute yourself? <laughs>